This is Brian Watkins and this is a video tutorial for an extra credit uh, offering on exam 2 in accounting 231. And what I'm going to teach you how to do here is to put a spinner button on a numeric variable so that you can change it simply by clicking. Okay, the first thing you're going to do and just remember to get the extra credit you have to do all these steps. You can't just do a one or two of them. Um, I'm going to also teach you how to increase row size. So let's take and we're going to select rows. Now you've done this before for columns when you made the columns wider, but now we're going to do it for rows. And we're going to change the row height. I'm going to change it from 15. Let's do a uh, let's do a 21. Okay, that looks good. And now everything is stuck at the bottom of the rows. I want to center them, okay, everything centered so that it doesn't look out of place. Okay, now we're going to go and your extra credit is to change the interest rate by point, uh, by twentieths of a percent, by 0 .05 each time I click. So I go to do the developer tab, okay, and if I don't have a developer tab, the way to get developer tab is to go to the file menu go to options okay and then you go to customize ribbon and right here where it says developer a lot of times that will be unchecked and you won't find any developer ribbon but if you check it then you'll be fine I don't know what what happens in the testing center but uh, you, you need to know that if you don't see developer up here you can turn it on by going to those options we're going to insert a form control. The form control we're going to use is called a spin button. It's the fourth from the left on the top row. So I click on that. Now my macro, or sorry, my um, cursor becomes a black cross. Let's get this thick black line out of the way. And I'm going to define where my button's going to be. I'm going to start in that corner. And I'm going to just put it right here, just like so. So there's my button. Okay. Now, when I push the button up or down, I want it to do something. Right now it's doing nothing. So I right click on it and I go to Format Control. This is the important one. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to link this cell to another cell that we can click. So let's link the cell to, uh, what was it, F12. F12, okay. So now we're linked to F12. Oh, I clicked in it. Click there. And I want to name that cell. So let's just uh, let's click out of there. Spinner 1. I'm going to name F12 Spinner Value. Okay. That's going to be, if I have lots of spinners or, or these buttons in my, uh, in my work, then I would call it Spinner Value 1 or 2 or 3. So let's go back to format control. Okay, and I'm going to use that cell. And I'm going to have that cell change. Uh, let's see here. We'll change by, let's change by 50. Okay. And minimum value is zero. Maximum value is 30,000. Let's just change by 50s and see what happens here. So I hit okay. And now when I click outside, I'm ready to go. So I see 50, 100, and it's moving up like that. Okay. And so I want those get down to zero. I want those to multiply times my interest rate so that I can come up with a number that's changing. So I'm going to have to move this number, and I'm going to have to, instead of having a number here, Let's take the uh, color off because I'm now going to have a formula. And my formula is going to be spinner value spinner value divided by what? 10,000? Yeah, by 10,000. Okay. Well, that's going up by half points. So I'm going to need to put another zero in. 90. There, now I'm going up 45, 50, 55. 
Alright, so we can get back up to where we were, which was for something. Uh, let's take a look at our sample test. And it looks like 485 is where we started. Now, we can do something even better than this. Um, let's take spinner value. Okay, we'll go to name manager. And instead of being an F12, let's put it in E12. So we go to spinner value, edit, and we're going to put it in E12. Okay, close. And now spinner value is over here. And let's change our format control and change this also to E12. Okay, and here's the here's the other trick. Uh, we can clear that out now. Let's put that number on the far side underneath our button. So now we don't see it, and it should still work. There we go. Okay, that's that's a helpful way to hide something that you don't want to have to explain to a client. Well, what's that number mean? But you can see here. See my interest for that first month being 514. The higher my rate goes, the higher that interest goes. And this is just a good way to, uh, you know, to monitor how long uh, that's going to be. So let's try another one. Let's just do one here. Um, let's say uh, loan period. Let's make that easy to change. So follow the steps. We're going to go into the developer ribbon, insert, form button. We're going to draw the button. Okay, there's the button. We're going to right click, format control. We'll link it to just that cell that we're in, E13. And let's make uh, maximum value is only going to be, gosh, 40. I, don't, I can't imagine ever getting a uh, minimum value is going to be one year. Actually, let's make that. Yeah, this is one year I think is a good minimum. Okay, so let's stick that uh, stick that one behind there. Let's name this spinner value two. Let's take out the green because now we have a formula back there, and let's replace the twenty-five with spinner value 2. So now I can change my 1 and I can go up. I can say for each extra year. Okay, that's just a uh, it's a nifty way to put controls in to an interface that's going to change regularly. I don't I just did that second one to show you what you would do on the test would be the one. That's called a spin button. Um, those spinner buttons can be uh, as big as you want them to be. Watch this. You know, if, if I have a, a button, I could make it that big if I want to, but uh, uncommon. Okay. Typically, you'll have them in a uh, square like this. You know, just squeezed up. But everything looks good. So that's how to do the extra credit on exam two. Know how to do the spin value. And typically where students struggle is, you know, how do I get the number to come out right? So just remember that you have an incremental change. Okay, I'm going to change this button by 50 each time I click on it. And so that number is going to change from uh, 54,000. If I had that as a 5 and this is 540, that would also translate to a percent. But practice with the numbers so that you're able to do that uh, on demand when you're in the test.